Hi everyone, Kita here. In this video, I will talk about the making of backflip. The scene you have in front of you is me filming my avatar in my living room. The VR and Unity 3D camera setup was made by Gerhard Funk. I will link him and everyone who worked on the film in the description so you can find them. The voice you listen to is my new cloned voice. It is still not perfect but is generally better than the voice you hear in the film. Many tools we used in the film are already old. Tech and AI will outpace us every time. The inspiration came from YouTube. I love watching people challenging themselves and facing their fears. There are many videos on nearly every given challenge. One of them is the backflip. Just type backflip progression and you discover countless people learning backflips. Given that you are not a gymnast, it is difficult to imagine that you can perform such a miraculous trick. However, as soon as you see that other people just like you are doing it, you can't help but wonder, can I also do it? Backflip was inspired by some ridiculous goals that we love to set for ourselves. Here is me doing it. It was in 2019. Back then, I was traveling and decided to rent a place with multiple beds so that I could use enough mattresses and cushions to construct a safe landing ground. It still wasn't safe, but there was no gym and considering the setups on YouTube, this felt like the most honest and authentic way to do. I was getting close, but broke my toe. After that, my mind shifted and the confidence was gone. That was the end. IRL. About AI. Back in 2015, I saw a flexible muscle-based locomotion for bipedal creatures by Guy Ten Beck and the team. Totally blew my mind. Here, machine learning enables the physical agent driven by muscles to learn from its mistakes and to gradually fine-tune its output to come closer to its set goal. Kind of like us. Literally, AI is learning to walk. In 2018, Jason Pang and his team released a paper called Deep Mimic. The AI agents would observe human movement in YouTube videos, take it as reference in the learning process and apply the skills to different settings. It was something else. We built upon Deep Mimic as our foundation. Max Schneider developed a bridge, allowing us to integrate the code with our tools and characters. This was a long process and I am extremely thankful for Max's patience. On the right you can see the pre-made character from the research paper performing a backflip. On the left, our character trying to backflip, still scared and confused. After getting the system up and running, we decided to test it with a combination of tasks. We trained our avatar to stand up and balance around a day for each task. Then we simulated the process connecting the movements from different stages. The info text below indicates current simulation tasks and skill levels. It was our first success. The process went like this. All assets needed to be prepared in 3D then exported and converted for training and simulation. We used text and argument files to define the tasks and launched everything through command prompt. It might have been a bit clunky, but watching our avatar come to life was immensely mesmerizing. Here it is simulated in the first test department. After simulating and recording the Alembics, they were imported into our 3D program. On the right you see Alembic sequences in Cinema 4D. That's where we staged things according to the script. And yes, there was a script and even a storyboard. You can see it on the wall in the final film. The sets were photographed and 3D scanned at different times of day and night, with and without furniture. Since the scans were too detailed and slow for simulation, everything needed to be remodeled in low poly. Lesser than 3 to Leonhard Glaser for modeling and texturing. Hi everyone, Nikita here. In this video, my avatar learns a backflip. The voice was cloned by reading a text into the script, which was the only good usable tool in 21. We used Wave 2 lip to generate lip, face expressions and connected it to our physical face rig. Big hugs to Mariel von Rickenbach and Christopher Doors to its for the input. In the end, the sound was edited and synced shot by shot in David Camp studio. Previously, David and I locked ourselves in my apartment to generate and record most of the foley. David is a genius and very patient. Thank you also for your patience, your interest and for watching until the end.